What's up, Sooner Nation? It's softball postseason World Series championship time uh, in Oklahoma. Mike White doesn't like it, but I'm sure everyone else does here. Sooners get underway, 1.30 uh, against Duke at, I'm still calling it Hall of Fame Stadium, guys. And a lot of people predicting this matchup uh, to be very tough. Obviously, this is a rematch, guys. A rematch of an earlier game this year. February 8th, back in February, when the Sooners won three to nothing, shutting out uh, Duke uh, behind the arms of Kelly Maxwell and Carly Keeney. Kelly Maxwell went five innings, Carly Keeney went two. They shut out Duke. Didn't put a lot of runs up against pitcher uh, Curd for Duke. So we'll see what today holds. It's exciting. The weather's uh, supposed to have a lot of rain chances throughout this weekend. So that'll be something to keep our eye on. But uh, Sooners are going for a fourth national championship in a row it's unheard of it's it's probably never going to be done again if they do it uh but that's what's at stake guys jackson yeah jeremy you said it. it's that time of the year the time in which we tend to see oklahoma play their best ball it's time for oklahoma for the senior class to go for their fourth straight national championship in which no senior class that i know in softball history has ever done an unprecedented thing you see in history throughout sports i don't even know if there's a senior class that I know off the top of my head this one four straight championships in any sort of sport. It's very, very hard to do. But, Jeremy, you said it. This is a Duke team that at one point in the year was very, very highly ranked in the top five. I, If I remember correctly, I think there was a point in the year in which they were fighting for the number one spot in the country. So they're obviously a team at one point in the year that was playing very, very good softball, a team in which Oklahoma is not going to have an easy matchup. And also, Oklahoma, they've had tendencies at times this year to go through offensive la offensive lapses in which they struggle on the offensive side of the ball. So if you're Oklahoma, you need to see them be able to come out firing on all, cy all cylinders offensively. And I do expect Kelly Maxwell to get the ball in game one. Yeah, and you look at this matchup and then the whole World Series in general, uh, trying to think back to another World Series where it's been this deep. And also, you look at it from the Super Regionals, Duke was one of the, uh, you know, as far as upsets to make it when they beat Missouri. It's been, it was been pretty much chalked to get here. You got the top teams in the nation here in Oklahoma City at Hall of Fame Stadium. It's going to be a great, great tournament. And I think if OU does pull this out and win the fourth and Addy, I think it'll be their uh, biggest challenge yet of the four. I, I think it's a very difficult road, but I definitely think though you can do it. And it starts with Duke and, and starting with Duke. I mean, you could kind of see it in the super regional guys. Uh, the seniors, Jackson, you mentioned it. Brito, Tiare, Jada, Kenzie. Some of these are, I mean, they're swinging the bat really good right now. Brito was really hot in the super regional uh, looking for them to get off to a good start. I think we've all talked about it. First game of any postseason, Super Regional, Regional, World Series, that's such a pivotal game. You can't lose and drop down to a loser's bracket and try to fight your way through all these teams. And I expect OU to come out and play really well. Let's hope the weather stays off. Yeah, I'm like you, Jay. Going for a fourth natty. What? Let me, let me, ask, let, let me ask you guys something because – OU has been, and I'll start with Braden here, but o OU's been uh, looking for this moment. You know, this is really where the season starts, if you just want to call it what it is. And people have said, question whether maybe OU is going to the motions. I, for one, think this team is going to be, Jay, you said hitting on all cylinders, firing on all cylinders. This is the moment they've been waiting for the entire season. They might yeah. not come out and say that, but it's true. This is the biggest moment, and big-time players step up in big-time moments. And uh, they got a lot of big-time players in Norman, Oklahoma, at the University of Oklahoma. So let's just start here. Who's going to be the one uh, against Duke that it, that's going to stand out and, and carry this team? And I'm talking about batting, not specifically pitching, because I agree, Jackson, Kelly Maxwell is going to get the ball to start. I like what Nicole May has been doing lately. So I – I'm, I'm really excited about that, but let's talk about batting. Who's going to be the standout today? Tiara Jennings. She's coming. Her bat is coming alive. Yeah, it's, it's hard to pick. I mean, it's hard to say pick against Tiara Jennings right now the way she has been swinging the bat. But 
You know, I, I'm going to go with, I think Jada Coleman, uh, she's a t- so she's the kind of like a, the setter for this team, man. She's a tone setter. And, uh, you know, it starts with her. And I think, I think she starts off good and has a great, great tournament. And I look for her to start off with the bang. And uh, we all saw what she did defensively uh, last game in, in Super Regionals there. And uh, this is kind of, to me, this is Jada time. It's go time. This is Jada time. Yeah, uh, I agree with you completely, Jay. I was going to say Jada Coleman as well. We've seen her perform well throughout her Oklahoma career as it's gone to the postseason. She tends to come alive even more on the defensive side of the ball and offensively. She has been very streaky this year at times offensively. Uh, I look for her to figure things out in that leadoff hole, probably find ways to create energy in which Oklahoma maybe at times is going to be struggling in the postseason because there will probably be a time in which they will face some adversity or they may even get down early in the game. And I look for Jada Coleman, Jason, as you said, to bring that energy and spark as she does best. Hey, yeah, I, look, I'm going with I'm going with one of the freshmen again, Pickering or Parker. Uh, they have never backed down from that. They haven't even seemed like a freshman. Usually, a freshman will go through some kind of slump. Pickering and Parker have been outstanding, and Parker's probably a little ticked that she wasn't the freshman of the year. Honestly, uh, I thought she easily deserved that. But now, hey, one more question for you: most unexpected. Uh, Someone in the lineup that is not maybe expected that could have the game of their life or maybe uh, be a difference maker in this first game against Duke. Unexpected hero. Who could it be? Cassidy Pickering. You going Cassidy Pickering, the freshman? Here, here's what I'll say. I think somebody to keep an eye on is uh, if you look back, last game, hit the ball better. Starting to swing the bat well, Alina Torres. I think Alina Torres could have some massive at bats. Go back to last year. If you remember, World yep. Grace Lyons, Sydney Sanders had had some really big hits in, in that postseason. I think Alina Torres, this World Series, I think is going to make a couple of clutch, clutch big time hits. Yeah, well. At the beginning of the year, I was super, super high on Sydney Sanders. I felt like she was going to have a big year. She has been very streaky this year, and I think that Sydney Sanders is going to be an unexpected hero like she was last year in a game. And also in which I do think there will be a game in this World Series where Sydney Sanders might end up just being the player of the game. She is that good of a game. And in which Oklahoma, in order for them to win a fourth straight national championship, they're going to need players to step up and play better in – the World Series and what they did, maybe even the regional or super regionals. Hey, Jerm, guys, real yeah. quick, real quick. Uh, Duke t- today. How many runs is it going to take to beat Duke? I mean, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be a pitching duel? Do you think two runs wins it? Do you think they need to score five? What are you expecting? Well, I was getting ready to do a score prediction, so that that'll kind of tell us the answers here in your score prediction. But listen, my unexpected player, my unexpected hero. I think Avery Hodge. I think Avery Hodge, we, we don't know Torres is starting. I, I think Torres is going to start. Maybe Avery Hodge comes in for defensive purposes. Maybe she has to get a, a, a an at-bat and she gets a big hit. I think she could be an unexpected hero. But let's get to score predictions. Let's start with Braden and go around. What is your score prediction in this game, guys, to answer Jay's question? I'm going to go 7-3. to three. OU. I'm going to go 5-1 Oklahoma. Hmm. I'm going to go 3-0 like it was in which the first time they met Oklahoma. And I've got I've got 8-2, uh, to two guys. And so it looks like we all think three runs pretty much gets it done. Uh, but everyone expects Kelly Maxwell to get this start. I would be shocked if it was anyone different. Uh, but it gets started today, guys, at 1.30, Sooners versus Duke. And, and listen, check out the fan stop, but also – Make sure you're, you're subscribed to our channel because there's no one else that's going to have as much softball content as us. We're going to have pregame like this. We're going to have postgame. We're going to have all of it for you here on the Sooner Surge. So subscribe to the channel. Drop in the comments. Who is your standout? What's your score prediction? Who is your unexpected hero? And we'll catch you next time. Boomer.
sooner 